heard exclusively live on Magic. This, this is the UK Top 20 Rewind with Paul Burnett. Hi. Question, is it time to stroll through the passages of time again? Well, the answer is yes, it is. Hello, I'm Paul Burnett, and welcome to another frantic couple of hours in which we'll showcase two more vintage Top 20 charts from the past. My partner in crime, Sean Tilly, is going to be playing hits from April 1984 in the next hour. But right now, I'm Paul Burnett with my own personal memories of a very special chart from May 1976. I'll explain why it's such an important countdown for me in just a moment. Uh, firstly, I can tell you that this was the month and year when inflation dropped to 18.9% in the UK. Muhammad Ali defeated Richard Dunn to retain his world heavyweight boxing crown. And in football, second division Southampton beat Manchester United 1-0 in the FA Cup final. Three days before Liverpool claimed their ninth league championship title. During this hour, we'll play you each of the four new entries, plus a fine selection of other songs that were making it big at this time, including one of my own. Yes, you heard me correctly. Believe it or not, Dave Lee, Travers, and myself had the biggest climber of the week in May 1976. They were crazy times. More of that later. Meanwhile, Melbourne Moore was storming straight into the top 20 with This Is It. UK Top 20 Rewind. New entry. 20. Harpo moving down to Hit Sound 19 in May 1976 with Movie Star. You're listening to the UK Top 20 Rewind. I'm Paul Burnett and Robin Sarstead was slamming straight into the survey at number 17 with My Resistance Is Low. You'll hear it after yet another member of Emerson, Lake and Palmer were making it big on the charts, hot on the heels of Greg Lake. It's Keith Emerson with a piece of Honky Tonk Train Blues. Greatest hits non-stop. This is magic. American duo Howard and David Bellamy with the first of two UK Top 20 singles between 76 and 79 for them, Let Your Love Flow, which was temporarily stuck at Hit Sound 14, but did end up rising to number seven. It was a time of mixed fortunes for Diana Ross. Her performance in the film Mahogany had been universally panned by movie industry experts, but she did have a US chart topper to fall back on in the shape of Love Hangover, which was also moving up the UK Top 20. 13. Part German, part American group, Silver Convention, who were sliding to hit sound 10 in May 1976 with Get Up and Boogie. J.J. Barry was heading down to number 9 with no charge, just as the Rolling Stones were shooting straight into the top 20 with Fool to Cry. It was the week's highest new entry at number 8, and we'll listen to it after we speak to this man. Hello, Sean. Hello, Paul. How are you? Yeah, tell us about some of the uh, highlights of April 1984. I'll be happy to, to do so. Yes, April 1984 next hour, you'll hear from the Thompson Twins, Lionel Richie, Cool and the Gang, Dipesh Mode, Banana Rama, and the special AKA with what would seem, uh, uh, I suppose, a very strange record to listen to these these days. I'm, of course, talking about Nelson Mandela because, of course, they were campaigning for his release at the yeah. time. But it's still a, a brilliant song and it's well worth hearing. I've got those songs and more to play in the next hour. You ever had a record in the top 20 yourself, Bush? Or? Oh, will you be here? I'm sorry, I just thought I meant I was going to ask you all about it, actually, <laughs> but I don't think I'll bother now. <laughs> well, I'll stick around. I'll play it for you a bit. Later on. All right. UK Top 20 Rewind. Highest new entry. You know, there was much controversy surrounding that single at the time when it was revealed that the lead singer was a big star in, shall we say, exotic movies. It was a huge hit for the Andrea True Connection, who were up to hit sound six with more, more, more. It's the UK Top 20 Rewind. Don't forget, Sean Tilly's on the way soon with, uh, well, he's still here, actually, waiting for that song that I'm going to be Hello. playing. <laughs> right, wait a minute, in a minute. Uh, well, he'll be featuring highlights from the chart of April 1984. But right now, I'm Paul Burnett, remembering the way it was back in May 1976. And the Top Five's coming up next, King off with Fox, who are dropping to number five with their single bed. Classic hits on the UK Top 20 Rewind. Right here on Magic. Featuring the voice of Nusha Fox, that's single bed by the group Fox, down to hit sound five in May 1976. Huh? Right, okay. Yeah, they're ready for this. All right, I know you're absolutely gagging to play the record. I am indeed. No, but to be fair, I mean, you know, you had the, the biggest climber of the week. It was uh, up a whopping ten places to number four in May 1976. It was, uh, well, you, you tell the story. I mean, first of all, how did the record come about? Well, uh, the, the, the song, of course, is Convoy GB, and I'll tell you quite honestly, it was Dave's idea. DLT and I uh, did this record together. It was Dave's idea, uh, and we were just going to do, you know, a, a thing for his show and my show, and 
just, you know, and I think that that's the way it happened. And then the uh, the producer, Wayne Bickerton, who was uh, the Rubettes, uh, very successful producer, time, yeah. uh, heard it, and he was about to start a new label called uh, State Records. And he thought, well, this would be a good publicity gimmick. Uh, why don't I make that record? And, uh, you know, so um, that's what happened. Um, I... I, I, I I wrote most of the lyrics, I have to say. I, I don't know, because they... Dave never tells anybody I do that. And so uh, this is my opportunity to set the record straight. It was Dave's idea, but I wrote most of the lyrics. He, he won't have it. Won't have it. Anyway, uh, but uh, we, we, we did the record, and much to our surprise, it was the fastest selling single of, uh, of its time, and it just caught everybody by surprise. It was amazing. Do you want to introduce it then? Yeah, have a listen to it. <laughs> and now I'm getting embarrassed, actually, because it, it's not the... Did you actually ever have to introduce it at the time? Because I... No, we weren't allowed to play it. On yeah. Radio 1, we weren't allowed to play it, but uh, hey... The people at the station uh, are okay about it. So here it is. Convoy GB. UK Top 20 Rewind. High Climber. It was a foggy day on the 6th of May in a scammel Harley Brick. Well, Frankie Valley was never going to be an easy act to follow, but drummer Jerry Pochi took up lead vocals and did a fine job of singing that song from the Four Seasons Silver Star, climbing up to Hit Sound 3 in May 1976. During the uh, very same week as the Wurzels were getting ready to take over at the top with Combine Harvest. And he thought Convoy GB was back. UK Top 20 Rewind. Future number one. Cool. I drove my tractor through your haystack oh. last night. That was the Wurzels with their future number one. And it made number one in Canada as well, because they've got lots of wheat fields over there, see? Combine Harvester, jumping up to hit sound two. Well, that's just about it from me, Paul Burnett. Thanks for listening, and stand by for Sean Tiddy with our vintage survey from April 1984 to come in the next hour. Until then, here's the best-selling single from May 1976, which featured the combined talents of Benny, Bjorn, Frida, and Agnetta. Yes, it's ABBA, still at the top of the chart in May 76 with Fernando. See you soon. Bye-bye. Can you hear the drums, Fernando? This, this is the UK Top 20 Rewind with Sean Tilly. Hi. Many thanks to Paul for that chart from May 1976, which, as you can probably tell, brought back a lot of personal happy memories for Mr. Burnett. And now we move on to April 1984 with me, Sean Tilly. This was the month and year when legendary singer Marvin Gaye was shot dead during a violent argument with his father. Jack Nicholson and Shirley MacLaine were triumphant at the Oscars. American band leader William Count Basie died at the age of 79. And in London, the Metropolitan Police announced that some officers would be allowed to carry automatic weapons. During this hour, we've got the usual winning formula of new entries, climbers, sliders, and non-moving for you to sample the third of four UK top 20 hits between 1983 and 1984 for Galaxy featuring the voice of Phil Fearon what do I do got to number five but here we find it down to number 20 in April 1984 it wasn't Phil's final appearance on the UK top 20 that came a couple of years later in 1986 when he got to number eight with I can prove it UK top 20 rewind New entry. And storming straight into the chart, OMD with Locomotion at 19. Incorporating the talents of Paula Humphreys and Andy McCluskey, OMD on their way up to an eventual number five with Locomotion. But in April 1984, it was a new entry at number 19. Got another new entry to play in just a moment from Jocelyn Brown with that dance floor classic, Somebody Else's Guy, fresh into the chart at 17. And that's going to be up to the last major hit in the UK for Catch a Goo Goo. Lamal, of course, no longer a member of the group when they released this single. It featured the voice of guitarist Nick Beggs. It's the lion's mouth. Take away my plan from the Thompson Twins, You Take Me Up, which is exactly what it was doing in April 1984, rising up to number two, but sadly no higher. And would you believe we've run right out of time again. So for me, Sean Tilly, and my co-host, Paul Burnett, thanks very much for listening, and please be sure to hook up with us next time around on the UK Top 20 Rewind for another two classic countdowns from the past, randomly chosen by our studio computer. In the meantime, you know the drill. We're going to leave you with one more record, and it's the biggest and best-selling single single from our April 1984 countdown. This next record was an American number one. It was also a chart topper in the UK for six weeks. And I think just as memorable as the song itself was the brilliant video that accompanied Lionel Richie and Hello. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. One.